Right, thank you for joining me in the Harport Pub today. I'm going to start out by reviewing the first beer that was sent to me from Canada by Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks. This one is Life in the Clouds, Double Dry Hopped IPA. It says it's a strong beer. This is uh, unfiltered. I like it. This came from Canada. This came from Ontario. So everything it says on the label is written in English and French. Strong beer, beer forte. I know my French is probably horrible, but uh, this is cool. This is cool. Beautiful, beautiful um, glass. A glass. It's a can. Like a shrink wrap label. I'm excited to get into this one. I said I got these beers on. Uh, Monday, I believe, but I had to work, and I worked, you know, 12-hour days, and then I got to go to my kids' baseball practices and games and stuff, so today's Wednesday, April 28th, and I'm finally getting these, but I did have the whole box in the refrigerator, so these are coming out cold, and man, this thing's made a carbonation all in that, that's a, seems to be a well-carbonated beer, let's see what she says, 6.1% alcohol. I can smell it. I haven't even put my nose to the glass, and I can smell it. Oh, yeah, she smells divine. I would say that in French, but I don't know how to say it in French. So I'm probably breaking Canadian law, but, oh, she smells divine. Jeez. I got to get into this. Cheers. Fantabulous. Oh, yes. That is fantabulous. Oh. Now, I know my viewers that are in the States, they're going to be a little disappointed because you, you can't get this stuff in the States. And that's where it pays to have friends like him. A connection. You gotta have a connection. She's nice. She's life in the clouds. She's a little cloudy. I was gonna say hazy, but I don't want to say hazy. We're talking life in the clouds. This is a cloudy beer. But, oh, it's a nice strong aroma. It just smells summerific. Oh. Definitely carbonated. Definitely carbonated. <coughs> Woo! Went down the wrong pipe. The only way to fix that is to pour it in the right pipe. Here we go again. Cheers. Now, that's a strong beer. 6.1%. Yeah. When I when I take a sip, I don't. It's not a sipping beer. I don't want to just take a sip and put it down and wait for a while and take another sip. When I put this up to my lips, I want to drink it. This beer here, this is uh, from Collective Arts, Art Brewing, and they are return for refund. I doubt they're going to give me a refund down here in Georgia. Uh, this art is from Miriam Wares from Montreal, QC, Canada. I don't know what QC means, so I don't want to say, but, uh, man, this is fantastic. 8 December 2020. There we go. That's another weird thing is sizes, and I, I talked to Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks about this in a couple of our videos that we've done together is um, we'll have the same beer like when we did Heineken same beer both of them brewed in Holland but yet because he's in Canada his is going to come in a milliliter can and mine's going to come in an ounce ounces can 
and it doesn't seem to match up. I mean, when I did the conversion, it, it's like a half a sip difference between what I got and what he got. But it's just weird that now a, a brewery has to produce two different size cans in quantities that are so close, but just this much difference to satisfy whatever, I guess, the local beer laws are in the country that they're sending it to. Makes no sense, but uh, this is a pretty big can. This is uh, 473 milliliters, which I don't know what that means when we're talking ounces. I'm sure some of you math wizards watching can figure it out like that, but uh, I said it before, this is not a math channel. It's a beer channel, and I'm going to finish drinking this. Mm. It's nice because that 6.1% alcohol is well hidden. So I said this could be dangerous. For me, I'd be slamming these things down in the summertime and it's 6.1%. You're going to be the goofball at the party if you do that. But it is delicious. It looks like pineapple juice in the, uh, in the glass. Taste divine. I'd be curious to know if any of my American viewers have had life in the clouds. I say it's a, it's a shame when breweries that are so close to the border like that don't cross over. We got some amazing beers here in the States that they can't get in Canada. And I know because I, I talked to a couple of uh, Canadian beer reviewers and likewise they've got some amazing beers up there that we can't get down here in the states. Um, you know, it probably has something to do with, uh, I don't know if there's tariffs on the alcohol and if it's just not gonna be profitable for them to go across the border. So, like there are beers, uh, one of them that comes to mind is Goose City. Goose City. Goose Island. This 6.1% beer has already got my tongue going crazy. Goose Island. Now in the United States, Goose Island is in Chicago and I think they're, they brew it in one or maybe two other places in the United States and that's it. They do have Goose Island in Canada. However, it's brewed in Canadian locations. So I'm just speculating and now that I've got this in me, this is all drunken speculation. But I'm guessing that maybe it's more profitable profitable for a brewery to have a brewery in another country brew their beer for them, and in that way it's a local beer up there. So there's not there's not the heavy taxes or whatever whatever it is that that makes it prohibitive for brewers close to the border just to you know distribute within the country that's right next to them. Uh, like I said, it's all drunken speculation. I don't know, but it's the only thing I can think of that makes that possible. So, I don't know how big Collective Arts is as a brewery. I don't know if they've uh, signed any deals with any American uh, breweries to brew and distribute their beers. I wish they would. This is fantastic. But I'm done talking. I gotta get the rest of this in my belly. So thanks for stopping by the Hardcore Pub. And thank you, Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks, for sending it to me. I got four more Canadian beers that I'll be reviewing in the coming days. So please, stay tuned for that. And we'll see you next time. Till then. Oh. Yeah.